Hey there, it's Mark. Just want to make this uh, video for you to show you how you can customize these colors here on the two-step order form. Uh, as you notice, there are, you know, it's a very specific uh, color here and uh, using it here and this blue just doesn't really match. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, I have these uh, code snippets here. I'm just going to copy this over and I'll share the link for this below the video. And I'm going to go ahead and just paste that in here. And as I go through, it tells you exactly what this is going to change. And so I'm just going to delete this color here. And then I'm going to get this color. So I have the exact hex code there. And then I just need to switch out these hex codes. And there's that. And that one. And then I actually, for the button, this one's easy. I just go in here and change this. And then I can even change the style of button if I like. Um, you'll notice that there aren't uh, too many settings here. I mean, you can change the button size um, and style here. But you could also, if you want to uh, change that, you would actually just let's go ahead and get that here, so it's going to be the, let me make sure I got the right one here. So just to make sure, there it is, the order two-step button. That's what you want to use to change this button if you want to customize it. So just add that dot there, curly braces, and then I can, uh, I can stylize this button as well. So let's, there are a couple options in the two-step order form, but let's just say I want to uh, give this some more round corners. You know, I could do something like this. Make sure you use important. Oh, I forgot to add the L button. There we go. You know, if I wanted to add a, a shadow, um, different things like that. So I can customize that button there. And then if you'll notice, if I go and I view step two, I actually have to do the same thing for this button as well. So just a couple of tips. 